This video is about the new EU trademark and the EU Intellectual Property Office. As of 23rd of March 2016, the Office for Harmonization in the Internal Market will be renamed into the EU Intellectual Property Office and the Community Trademarks will be renamed into the EU Trademarks. But this is not all. It goes along with a lot of changes in the rules and the procedures and I give you a brief summary in the following video. There are a couple of changes regarding examination. It will no longer be possible to file EU trademarks via the national offices, so they always have to be filed with the EU Intellectual Property Office. The users of the system will be able to choose whether they want to receive uh, search results and surveillance letters. It is also now clarified that the office will at any point be able to reopen examination procedures uh, based on absolute grounds uh, as long as the trademark is not registered. Functional marks such as sound marks or color marks are now subject to the same prohibitions as shape marks. It will also no longer be possible to add disclaimers to avoid rejection based on absolute grounds. The amended regulation also clarifies that in cancellation proceedings the office will uh, limit their examination to the arguments that um, the parties brought forward. So they will not um, look into any arguments or any reasons for revocation um, on their own. There are also some changes to uh, the rules regarding uh, oppositions and cancellations. So the opposition deadline for international registrations designating the EU uh, starts one month after the publication. These are only the most important changes. Uh, and then there is um, a very important change uh, regarding the goods and services. Some of you may know the decision IP translator. And after that decision, the um, Office for Harmonization in the Internal Market and in the future the EU Intellectual Property Office will only consider goods and services uh, that fall directly under the claimed goods and services in the list of goods and services. So before that decision, it was possible to claim all goods and services in any of the classes uh, by definition by just introducing the headings in the needs class into the list of goods and services. So for example, in if you wanted to protect also chewing gum in sweets, you could just uh, use all the class headings in the needs class in class 30. And although these class headings did not really encompass uh, sweets and chewing gum, it was uh, meant to be protected just by definition. And that practice now changes. Uh, so if you want to protect sweets and chewing gum in class 30, you have to explicitly uh, claim sweets or chewing gums. For any CTMs filed before 22nd of June 2012, it will be possible to declare um, within six months from the new rules uh, that you want to protect all uh, goods and services in a given class um, if you can show that you have claimed all uh, class headings in a certain class. Um, that also means that you have to list all these goods and services um, and it will result in a very lengthy uh, list of goods and services but you have the chance to um, claim everything in a certain class if you can show that you have uh, claimed all the class headings in a certain class. So there is one very new thing um, that came with the new rules. There is now a certification mark. You can file for a EU certification mark and that means um, that you can define certain quality standards or conditions that people or applicants or uh, companies have to meet in order to use that certification mark. Um, and um, anyone who can meet these requirements can use the certification mark and if you are not meeting these requirements 
then that would be considered um, a violation of that certification mark or an infringement of that certification mark. That's a new interesting um, thing to consider. So these were the most important changes that come into force um, on 23rd of March 2016 regarding the EU trademarks and the EU intellectual property office. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave your questions and comments below this video and the most important thing at the end, reap your ideas.